Susan Hall. I live at Inverloch, Boonwurrung country. My art practice combines oil painting, printmaking, charcoal drawing, and I tend to sort of take the sea as my inspiration. Listening to the waves, watching the waves, it's just something that settles my mind. Yeah, I just love it. I think I feel as though I'm in another world. I, th I think I'm in tune with the natural world. I think I always have been, even though I may not have realised it. Uh, the natural world has had quite an impact on my work. Um, I look at things that nature has produced, like the falling leaves, the uh, autumn leaves, um, as as much as the seaweed that washes up along the beach. What gets revealed in my artwork is uh, what I see when I'm walking along the beach, uh, stimulated by um, the pull of the sand, the pull of the water, uh, the patterns that are left in the sand. Uh, that's always a starting point. So yes, it's, I think it's the beauty of the natural world around us. Years and years ago, um, I was told that artists are better if they paint by themselves, be solitary. Well, that never worked for me. I'd rather be um, mixing with people and imparting what I know um, onto other people. And it's just lovely to see them Doing, um, doing work of their own. And most of them are quite surprised at what they can do. The BCAL um, artists, um, I found that very, very sort of rewarding. And I think it was good for them too because they, they're introduced to something that they're not really used to. And I think they surprise themselves too that they've been able to make an artwork, do a drawing. But it's, it's made them feel important. And until you try something, it stimulates people's minds, everyone's minds. You just have to allow that to happen. Yeah, the message exchange program started really where Melanie and I sent each other 20 prints that we'd done and um, she had to add to my prints and I had to add to her print what was happening in our daily life. So that was, that was the start of the message exchange. Since then we've added to that with um, people from Norfolk Island and also in Canada. So thrilled, I know I was very thrilled when I was first asked to enter an exchange program with people from overseas and First Nation people from America. It's, it feels like a, a privilege because you're sharing your information with other people and they, they share theirs with you and it's, um, it's re rewarding. Well, when I connect with other people through, through art, um, through making prints and exchanging them, um, I think it, it, brings, it brings other people closer, are people you would never dream of mixing with um, or meeting even. Um, they, they find it a privilege as, as much as I do and it's, it's just that connection that happens.